Hello YouTube, PSP Hacker AOD here and I have an iPhone 3G and a regular iPhone and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the new 3.0 beta software onto your first generation iPhone. I might later make a second video installing it on my uh, iPhone 3G but for now I'm just going to try it out on this one. Now a few things that um, most of you are going to need to know is that um well first off I'm on 2.2.1 and um that the only way to be able to use 3.0 is by being um a registered developer or by having one of the developers basically um I don't know what what it is exactly they do but you basically next year on your serial number on iTunes you just click like um serial number and it'll change to show you UDID and it's like 40 characters long as you can see the tape doesn't even cover it all that I have on the screen so um, you give them that number basically and they'll enter you in the iTunes database or whatever and from then on if you have the update it'll allow you to activate the phone now to clear up a lot of rumors that are going around where people are saying like if you disconnect your internet and update you'll be able to run it. That's not true because I did it and there's no way to activate it. It tells you to connect to iTunes. There's no jailbreak method out there to do it yet or anything. And if you try to um, connect it to iTunes and activate it with the internet that's connected, it just tells you please connect to the internet and try again later. And um, you try and it'll tell you that basically your phone's locked. So a lot of people are saying that, oh no, they bricked it or they, um, they're locked out but there's plenty of tutorials on how to downgrade back down because I earlier tried it and I did downgrade back down and um, yeah but um, if you have a first generation iPhone you're fine to play around with this stuff I guess if you have the 3G I'd be careful because if you use yellow snow or anything like that you update you're screwed pretty much and you're probably not going to be able to use it ever until yeah they come up with something else so um, first thing you're going to want to do is find somehow a div that can add you, a developer, and um, easiest way for like between like five to eight bucks from what I've seen, go on eBay. Now yeah, I know there's a lot of sketchy stuff about this, but go on eBay and um, type in iPhone 3.0 and you'll see all these things basically. You click on one of them and you read what they say. Make sure this person is trustworthy. Talk to them a little first or whatever. And basically buy when you feel comfortable. I did this already and I'm going to be showing you an update. So I have access and I'm just doing this just to um, show you that it can be done. So basically this is my first generation iPhone. And um, if you hit the check for update or whatever it's not going to... It's not going to have anything found, so I'm going to hold shift down and I'm going to click update. And I would do restore, you can do restore also, but I don't want to do it that way. And now I'm going to locate the beta firmware. There's a lot of, um, you can find it really easily on any torrent website and just download it to your computer, but if you do that, it's kind of useless to you unless you have some way of um, being able to access it. Here it is for the first iPhone first generation so we're going to open it and let it extract and install and all that good stuff the only problem I'm thinking I might run into is that I have an AT&T SIM card in here but like the plan's not set up to the phone exactly so I had to unlock it or whatever because my plan's set up for my 3G iPhone and yeah it doesn't recognize the SIM card unless the phone's unlocked but other than that it should work out fine so I'm going to let it pretty much install. As soon as it starts going, I'm going to cut it. There it goes. My phone just shut off. So connect to iTunes. Yeah. And the cable's not long enough to take the phone any farther. <laughs>
still preparing. Probably should cut here. I was trying to wait for um, the little thing popped up on the phone showing it's doing something. Okay, there it goes. Now I got the little thing on my phone. So I'm going to cut here and I'll show you when it's finished up, or finishing up. Okay, it just finished up and um, I don't know what it's doing, little things spinning around. No longer any message on uh, here, so I'm guessing it's rebooting right now, so I'm going to cut really quick and wait till it finishes rebooting. Alright now, this screen I have up here, hopefully this works. Many people are showing they're stuck on this screen. Um, mine's accessing the store right now to check if I'm able to use 3.0. I'm hoping it's going to work and that I didn't get ripped off. Oh, sweet. Phone's active. Sync in progress. Alright, it worked. Cool. So, yeah. Like I said, be careful with um, the whole eBay thing. Find someone you can trust. And, um, alright, phone is active. And let's look over here. That's 3.0. I don't know if you can see it very well, but 3.0. And my phone says it's syncing in progress right now, so... I don't know. I can slide to cancel, but I don't really want to do that. I'm going to resume, I guess, when it's done syncing or whatever. Alright, well, my phone still says sync in progress, even though it doesn't display it in iTunes anymore. It's been doing this for like five minutes, so I'm sick of waiting, so I'm just going to unplug it. It's not going to affect it. So, unplug, phone, let's let it unlock it. All right. Hmm. Okay, there's a new little message icon compared to the old one that's SMS. I got my 3G right here. Kind of like the old look better than the new one. It says text. Now this one says messages. I don't know. All right, let's go hit text message on both of them get out of that. I have custom text message set up on here, but we'll hit the compose on both of them. And mine looks like that on, um, yeah, but now yeah, let's see how this is. Sideways text messaging. Finally. Something it should have had since the start. Oh, nope. But, and I know there's other programs out there to do this, but they're not as good in my opinion because I've played with them. Alright, now let's see what else we got on here. We hit YouTube. Let's try logging in. More. Sign in. Hmm. Username. P. S. P. Hack. R. A. O. D. Password. You want to get that, don't you, people? Alright, I turned the Wi Fi on and now it's showing all my favorites that are on my account, actually, which is pretty cool. And you have the load more thing, of course, because I have a lot more favorites. But that's pretty tight. And then um, go back to the first page. And if you can see down there, see so I have like a second page, you just junk on it. But you got like the little magnifying glass now, so when you flip over to it, it pulls that up. And I guess you got to get the home key to get that off. But I don't, I don't personally care for how they put that there. But a lot of people are excited for that. So, all right, sounds good to me. And then um, this one doesn't have the turn-by-turn -turn GPS because it's not the 3G. And then I got voice memo right here, so I guess you can hit record or whatever. As I as I'm talking, you can kind of see the thing moving back and forth on the phone, but it's not doing very much. Okay, I'm not gonna record right now because I don't need to hear my voice any more than this.